In this video, I'm going to show you four different ways that you can highlight text in Canva. So you can see them here in front of us. We can use a rectangle. We can change the transparency of that rectangle. We can use text effects. Or we can also add an element that will make it look a bit like a highlighter scribble. So I'm going to show you how to do each of these methods. So let's just make a new page. I'll just copy this text just to make it quicker. So whenever you've typed whatever text you want to use, you go to the elements menu and then you can just search for rectangle because I've used it recently. It shows up here, but otherwise you can just search rectangle and then add the shape and you can change it to whatever color you like up the top here. Now, if you are going to use it for highlighting, I recommend going more pastel colors because if it's a very bright color, you can see here it's quite hard to see um, against the text. So I usually go pastel the one time I actually recommend using pastel colors. And if you need more, you can click on this little circle here and then click around and choose what color you want. If you want to go uh, more like traditional, like realistic highlighter, like a bit more like that reminds me of the um, Stay Below Boss if you're trying to replicate that or just pick whatever color you like. Then resize your well, square, rectangle, whatever shape, and then I just drag and over the top. So you can use this to highlight certain text to make it stand out or you could highlight the entire text up to you. But I think it's more effective if you just use this method for highlighting part of your text. And if you haven't already, you might want to go position and have your text forward and you want your rectangle to sit behind because otherwise, if you have this sitting on the top um, like that, you won't be able to see the text obviously. So make sure that you have layered it so that your text is on top. For the next method here where we change the transparency, so if you did go with a brighter color, um, like we were clicking around before, let's go a bit more like this color here, and it starts to get a little difficult to read. Well, that one's not too bad, but if you pick something even brighter and you want to tone it down a bit, you can go transparency and then drag that slider bar back and you can go as light or as dark as you like. So I do like to change the color this way rather than using the color picker because I, I just feel like you have to click more times, whereas this one I just think it's faster. So definitely recommend using the transparency slider. The next option using text effects, I'll just copy this text again. So this will highlight all of the text in your box. So if you've got your text, you've typed it in, you've clicked on your text box, you go effects and then choose background and then see how it will cover every single word. So if you only wanted to highlight a few words like this here where it says place it behind, you would need to create another text box. So they need to be separate. So you would need to have like two of them and merge them. So maybe method one, if we're highlighting the heading, you can see that's only highlighted and you would have to then group it with your text underneath if you wanted to be able to move things easier and align them. So if you left click and drag, you can then group them. And then if you wanted to align all of that, you know, position center. So just consider that um, and what you want to highlight. But I do think highlighting the headings looks good. And if you did want the whole text highlighted, gain effects background, you can see that it's highlighted there. And within this background menu, you can choose the roundness if you want it to be very rounded like this here, or if you wanted just a slight rounding, you can see the difference between those two that we just picked. And you can also change how wide beyond the text it goes, and you can also change the transparency in here as well. So this one is good if you want to highlight a lot of text or for headings, then I quite like using this method. And then the last one is using an element. So back in the elements menu, instead of a square this time, if you type in highlighter, it will come up with obvious like highlighter graphics, but it'll also come up with swatches like these. Now, a lot of these highlighter swatches are with the pro version of Canvas, so keep that in mind. So you could have a one big like fat streak, or there are ones that have more of like the scribble effect, like this one here, and you can increase or decrease the size. The only thing I don't like about these elements is that you cannot, there's no like middle dot here, so you cannot shrink it. Everything gets proportionally increased. So I find this one is harder to put behind smaller text. So I would more so use this for headings because you can see if you had a long word 
like if you wanted to use a rectangle, if you drag that so it fully covers the word, it starts to touch the next one and maybe that's the look that you're going for, but that kind of annoys me. So I don't like that part of it, but it does give you plenty of options. So you can experiment till you find one that's appropriate. You can see there's lots of different options of depending on how scribbly you want it to look. And I did do some um, swatches here so you can see some of the ones that they give you. It's quite a good variety of options, you know, on an angle, a larger one, thinner. So there are plenty of options there if you want to get real technical or if you're doing a digital planner this could be nice to make digital stickers out of it up to you so there's those four methods and then if you want to see it in actual practice of when you might use it well I've used it here as a background behind a heading just to add a bit more interest and then I also used it on some of my Pinterest um pinnable image template so I used it here just to like grab people's attention this one behind the text I used the rectangle method. I did one like around the thing that I wanted to really, you know, stand out and grab people's attention. And then the other option, you can do like a half highlighter thing like I did here where I literally just like dragged it down. So there's a few options on how you can use the highlighter that you've created. And there's those four methods again. I hope you found this quick video helpful and I do have some more tutorials on how to use Canva. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more whenever I post them.